Hi, this is Christina Hills, and in this video, I want to show you how, with Bluehost Hosting, how easy it is to transfer one of your WordPress sites from either another Bluehost account or another hosting into your current Bluehost account. Now, this process is specific for Bluehost. So, I'm in my Bluehost account. I'm under Websites. I'm going to click on Add a Site and I want to click on transfer an existing WordPress site. Now if you were building something new you would click up here on install WordPress but I'm going to click on transfer and then I'll click continue and it wants the website's URL so I'm going to copy this this is the site I'm moving uh, I'll click next Now it wants me to install and activate the Bluehost Migrator and follow the instructions to get your transfer key. So I will click on this. So once it opens, I'll click on Install Now. And I'm not worried about this warning because it was updated six months ago. So I'll click on Install Now. And I'll click Activate. And... I guess this is activated, so I'm going to just come over here into my back end and look at plugins to see if that got, yes, so it did get installed. So now, I already did that, copy the transfer key from and paste it here to complete the transfer. All right, so I'm going to look in here. And I'll find over here the site migrator. And I can ignore this other notification. So it needs to check compatibility. Looks like it's compatible. I'll click on start the transfer. So it is busy cloning my website. And then it is going to issue me a transfer key. So I am just going to wait. I'm not sure how long this will take. So I'm going to pause the recording while it's happening. All right, so that took about, I don't know, three to five minutes. Didn't take that long. And I can see a success. So I'll X that out. And um, here I have a transfer key. So I'm going to copy the transfer key. And now I need to go back over to Bluehost. And I'm going to paste in my transfer key and click on transfer. And it's spinning, so it's taking some time. It's initiated the transfer, so I'm going to just wait. And now we can see that the migration is in process. So again, I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to close my browser. You might be able to close the browser. I'm not really sure. But um, I think it's safer to just uh, wait. So I will, I'll pause this video again. Okay, and it's, <clears throat> it's still going, so I'll still wait. Okay, it looks like it's done, but it's not quite clear what I'm supposed to do here. It just says migrating site. So I'm over here looking in my dashboard, and I don't see anything. <clears throat> Let's see what happens if I go to edit site. Okay, so it looks like this is in a, a temporary location. This is in the new site. Okay, so here's what's happening. If you look up here, this is in the new temporary location of the Bluehost account I'm moving it to. And this, I'm guessing, is in the old location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change in the old location my colors in the background so I can tell the difference. And I'll click Update Profile. So this is the old site. This is the new site. So it's not clear 
what I'm supposed to do next with getting my site, getting the completion. Let me click on this, see if something's going to update. Oh, it's not clear what to do next. So I'm going to have to contact Bluehost because I'm not exactly sure uh, what I'm supposed to do next. But uh, so far the process was pretty easy and coming into the dashboard. So this is now in a temporary location. I think I'm going to have to reach out to them. Uh, this was my old location and I can tell the difference because I changed the colors of the background. So I'm going to uh, stop this video and then I'm going to go ahead and contact Bluehost. Um, but so far so good. This was um, actually pretty easy. I'm guessing what I need to do now is cancel it out of the old site and then uh, reassign my domains in here. All right, uh, that's it. My name is Christina Hills.